I remember when I was a young fella living out in Finglas. The baker used to come up the road every day with his old horse drawn bread van. We always used to wait for it, and when he was delivering the bread to the houses, a whole crowd of children would gather round, patting the old horse and what have you. The baker was a fellow with curly black hair, and I remember the horse too. A big blacky brown cart horse he was, much bigger than any of us, and he had reins and harness on him that jingled as he trotted along. Or when he was standing still, and tossed his head, and snorted through his big wide nostrils, as he often did. I remember well the blinkers around his eyes too, and I was told that they were to keep knocking straight ahead, so he wouldn't decide to go off somewhere the driver didn't want him to go. Even now, any time I hear of somebody with blinkers, I think of that bloody old horse. When the baker was finished his deliveries, big loaves of fresh crusty bread, still hot out of the bakery, he'd let us all get up on the bread van, at least as many of us as it fit. And gee up, he'd say, and the old horse would start off up to the top of the road. Now, needless to say, when the cart started moving, many of the children, as weren't used to horses or been up so high on the box, would be frightened over their wits. I suppose I was myself the first time I'd done it. A few years after that, me not a child any more, they started to take off the old horse that on bread vans and put in electric yokes instead. The same with the milkman, though I was never up early enough to ride with him. I'd only wake up first thing in the morning when the whole world seemed to be still asleep, hearing the horse's hooves coming up the road and the jingling at the harness, and the milkman's whistle as he, as he did his rounds. And I'd watch him out the bedroom window, putting down the milk bottles on the frosty doorsteps, as the horse's breath came out like clouds of steam in the first light of the sun. You used to see a queer few old horses and carts going around Dublin, but not now, and more's the pity. The children today don't know horses like I did, or fellas my age. And just to think of it, my father knew a lot more of horses in his day. There was horses for weddings and funerals, and Undertaker's Yard had, had, had a row of stables. And besides that, there was horses to pull all sorts of carts and vans, even barges on the canals. They all went to the knackers, I'll be bound. In them days, people lived with horses. There was horses in the streets, and in the stables out of the backs of the houses. You were always seeing them. The world belonged to men and horses. Then the old Model T Ford came along, and the world started to belong to men alone. Now you're surprised to see an old horse at all, and some of the children wouldn't know one if they saw one, I think. There was no call for sex education in them days, I'm telling you. The children knew the facts of life without somebody having to tell them. They learnt it all from horses. But I can still see the baker's horse pulling the bread van up the road to me father's house, hooves going clip-clop on the tar and harness jingling as he trotted along. And to think that there was other living things that were part of life. I'd nearly give up the internal combustion engine at all to get back that if I could.